Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, members of the public, and the uh, Honorable Mr. Peter William Tobin. My name is um, Denisa Curia. I'm a mom of two young children, aged two and four months old, and I belong to a large family. My husband has 15 siblings who care, love, and support each other. I speak on behalf of my family and the Grace Church community to which I belong. Today, I decided to come here together with all of you and show my support towards the Bodnariu family who are going through every family's nightmare to be separated from each other. I am bitterly disappointed that Norway's child protection agency called Barnevernet has unjustly removed the Bodnariu children from their parents in such a cruel way. I have made every effort to educate myself on the matter, and I believe the Bodnariu parents were unfairly treated and that the children were loved and looked after appropriately by their parents. I believe the Bodnariu children should be returned back to their parents, and I am here together with all of you to ask Norway to do so immediately. As a mother of two beautiful sons, I can only imagine the pain and difficulty Ruth Bodnariu is facing. My younger son is four months old, approximately the same age Ezekiel Bodnariu was when he was taken away from his mom, Ruth. There is a large amount of research that demonstrates that taking away an infant from his mother can have a massive negative impact on the child's welfare. Nothing in this world, nothing, not even bottles filled with breast milk can compensate for a baby's emotional need for his mother's continual presence. For the early months and years of a baby's life, it is essential that a baby has the full opportunity to bond in close contact with his mother. In this instance, both Ezekiel and Ruth are deprived of that right. We are in full support of childcare, and I uh, strongly believe that Ruth is, mad, is a fit mother who deserves the right to look after her baby and her other children. It is truly an inspiration to see the motivation and support of our global community, which stands as a united voice for the Bonariu family. We'll continue to keep them in our prayers, and we will not stop fighting until we see our children returned to their parents. Thank you, and God bless you all.